Hey guys, I'm back today with another video. This one is going to be brought to you by the company Julia Hair. But before I get started on all the details, guys, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, turn those notifications on because you don't want to miss out on any of my videos. So this unit I will be showing you guys today does have some face framing highlights in the front. This one is a 13 by four lace front wig. It's 150% in density and I do have the length 24 inches. And this one is a straight silky texture. This is an average cap size. This one also has your standard cap construction, which is two combs on the side, a comb in the back, and your adjustable straps. You also do get slightly bleached knots, a pre-plucked hairline, and you also get baby hairs around the perimeter that you can customize to your liking. Now, of course, I went ahead and washed my unit. That is just something that I prefer to do. I think you can style it straight out of the box, but I just feel better when I wash mine. So I use my Aussie Moist shampoo and conditioner. I also did go in and bleach the notch just a little bit more. I used a 30 volume developer and I left it on for about 15 minutes because the knots were small, but I felt like they were a little bit noticeable. But I do think that you can get away without having to bleach the knots if you just wanted to add some type of powder or foundation, or you can add some type of tint spray to just conceal them. Now this cap was a little bit big on me, so I did have to go in around the ear area and cut some of that lace off. I had to be really careful because I felt like I was getting close to the band in the back where you pulled the straps. So now I'm just going to work on cutting off this lace and I'm just kind of seeing like how well the lace is going to melt in because I can pretty much tell right away once I cut the lace off or sometimes with the lace on how well it's going to melt in once I add any type of adhesive. For today, I will be using a new spray that I picked up from the store. This is the Got To Be High Insta Hole Spray. And I seen this on Larasia Andrea. I love her channel. And I seen her trying this out and I wanted to go ahead and pick this up to see if it worked on me also. Now, I honestly stopped using the yellow bottle of Got To Be Spray because every time that I used it, I noticed after I was done filming or after I was done wearing it, that it was irritating my forehead and I was starting to break out and get really dry up in that area. So I stopped using it. Now, once I stopped using it, I never had those issues again. So even with the bedhead hardhead spray, I don't have those issues. It was just with that one particular spray. Now you guys are probably used to seeing me spray the spray on top of my lace, but I've been spraying it underneath I'm trying to perfect my technique and also have a cleaner application. Um, sometimes if I spray on top of the lace, I would have to kind of clean it up a little bit more if it got too flaky, depending on how much product I was putting on the unit. So I'm just trying to get better at doing that. And I'm not a professional hairstylist, so y'all bear with me as I try to find different techniques to work out. We'll let you guys know that that spray dried down really quick and it smells good. <laughs> it smells really good. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut some shorter hairs down on the side. Yes, your girl is about to do a little bit of baby hairs. If you aren't a fan of baby hairs, what do I always say? You can skip this step if you aren't a fan. But to style my baby hairs and to keep them into place, I will be going in with my She Is Bomb Fuse Foam. And I'm just gonna play around until I am happy and satisfied with how the baby hairs are looking. I am not one of those who can just quickly swoop and go. I gotta do a couple of swoop swoops to get it right. So you guys will see me going back and forth until I'm happy with it because I want it to look very nice and natural and also very light and clean. So I just prefer to go in with the foam. So after I am done doing that, then I was like, ooh, how should I style this? She's cute. She's cute on the side, but she's cute in the middle also. So your girl decided to rock a middle part. I know some of y'all like, dang, you should have did that side, but I have other units coming that have some color in it that I will be rocking as a side part. So we are just going to do a middle part on this one. So I use my Care Care Wax Stick at the top of the unit and also around the side. And then I'm just going in with my hot comb. This is from Kendra's Boutique. I'll make sure to leave all of the details down below in the description area. But I'm just pressing everything out. And as you guys can see, it laid down flat really quick. So it wasn't lumpy at the top or anything. So I was happy about that, that I didn't have to go in and put in too much elbow work. 
definitely going for the sleek and straight look. So I am just going to flat iron the unit. I thought about putting some curls in it. My daughter was like, put some curls in it. But I was like, nope. I just want to rock it straight and see how well it performs. Y'all, this hair straightened so nicely. I did not notice a lot of flyaways. The top of it did not have a lot of frizziness. This unit felt very nice and soft. Now, of course, it had a little bit of texture to it after I washed it, but once you flat iron it, it flat irons really, really well. You guys can see how easily I'm just running a flat iron through this. I barely had to do two passes. I did an extra pass like going towards the bottom of the hair just to make sure that it was really sleek. But look how good it looks. And it took me no time. I did not go in and take super small sections. I just went through and randomly started flat ironing pieces. But you can definitely tell what the difference is looking like from the one side to the other. Taking my Sleek and Shine Serum by Garnier Fructis, I'm just gonna run that throughout the hair. I also did have to touch up a few pieces right there in the very front, but this is going to help protect against any type of frizziness and flyaways also, and just make sure that it keeps the sleek look. Hey guys, I was messing with stuff that I ain't had no business messing with. Y'all ever had somebody be like, keep your hands out your head, and that's what I should've did, left it alone. So I was trying to fix it back because I ain't like it. So now I'm just going in with my powder from my Ruby Kisses 3D Contour Creator Powder Palette in the color light medium. I'm just going into the hairline and also a little bit into the parting space just to kind of open it up and just make it look a little bit more natural. Now it's gonna come off a little bit lighter, but in the end, it's gonna look fine. So just wanna blend it all in and fix it up. Guys, this is the final look of this highlighted unit and she is looking really cute. Now at first, I was a little bit on the fence of how it was going to turn out, but I actually like the highlighted pieces in the front because it's not overpowering. Like, it's not doing too much. So it's like the perfect little piece of a highlight. I do feel like it could have been just kind of blended in a little bit better underneath, but it's not so horrible to where I feel like it just looks bad. Like. You don't notice it unless I push it back. This one is 24 inches. You guys know this is a little bit long on me because I'm only 5'2", but they also offer it in eight inches. And then I have the 150%, but they also have the 180% and the 130. But I think the 150 looks really good. I didn't notice any thinness, not even in the crown area. But of course, if you want thicker hair, go with 180%. The pre puffed hairline on this looks really nice. I just pulled out those shorter hairs in the front to just kind of open it up a little bit, but you can go in and pluck out a little bit more to make it look more natural. The lace blended down really fine. And then this is only 13 by four inches of parting space. I do wish it was a little longer, but I feel like the parting space does look good and natural. I didn't have to go in and pluck out any hairs within the parting space. So as you guys can see, when I parted on the side, it is nice and open to where you aren't gonna have to do any excess work. And then as you guys can see, look how soft that looks. And that highlight does not look dry because sometimes some highlights be coming off really dry if it is left on too long. In the styling process, I did not run across a lot of tangling and the shedding was very minimal when it came to styling this unit also. Now this one for the length and the density, I do feel like it is affordable. So if you guys are interested, I'm gonna make sure to leave all the links down below. If I have a coupon, I will find it for you guys. Guys, make sure to subscribe to my channel once again. Turn those notifications on, share and like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.